the movies of the internet. I'm Lauren Elizabeth and I'm wearing a hat to distract you from my face. I'm also eating. Hurry up, Lauren. Today I'm going to be doing a haul. I know I did a favorites video last week, so it's a little repetitive of like showing you product in your face. But I recently went shopping and you know, it's back to school season and I thought, oh my gosh, these are all actually very beneficial items for people going back to school. It's essentially a back to school haul. If you're going back to school, these are all important things. And if I was going back to school, this is the shopping I'd be doing anyway. So it's like a back to school haul, but I'm not going back to school, which is misleading, but important. So I'm gonna show you some stuff that I bought that I think is good for if you're going back to school or just just, you know, if you're refreshing your look or if you want to go shopping. So first I'm going to start with makeup. I went to Sephora because I'm someone who either wears absolutely no makeup or literally beats their face. And I find this to be a problem in my life. I want to just be that like perfect in between. Like I woke up like this but did put a little makeup on and I don't know how to achieve that. I've been on set a lot recently where I've not been able to wear a lot of makeup because of my character. So some makeup artists have been using cream foundations on me and cream blushes and cream highlighters and just like strictly cream products and I loved it. So I set out to make it my goal to find like a really good kind of like creamy makeup routine if that makes sense and then I got some other stuff as well so first thing I got from Sephora is the classic um, Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster, potent vitamin C, complex to brighten, smooth, and help the appearance of aging. Follow me for a long time. You know I love this stuff. I've been using it for five years now. This is like a bigger size of it, I realized after I bought it, but it's the best. Um, it is expensive, but it's like the only thing that really deflates everything on my face, keeps everything even, bright, toned. It's like a holy grail product, and it's also won like a beauty award in, in, for Allure Magazine like a billion years in a row. So it's a holy grail product for sure. So actually, I got this from Urban Outfitters. It is the Embryoli Concentrate Cream. It's a multifunction nourishing moisturizer. Moisturizer, makeup primer, and moisturizing matte. And this is also another like, kind of makeup artist must have. I get this used on my face all the time on set. It's super, super moisturizing. I've been on sets where I have dry patches and makeup artists have just like clumped it on and let it sit and that's really helped things go away. Or over a few days, makeup artists always put this on as a primer to prime your face. And so I saw it at Urban Outfitters and I've never seen it before because you probably have to get it at a beauty supply store. So I got it and I'm excited to use it under my makeup. Then for the cream foundation I was talking about, I asked the girl at the Sephora, at the Sephora, I asked the girl at the Sephora what she recommended and she recommended Makeup Forever, which obviously is a really great foundation brand. And it looks like this, it's a stick and stick foundation is really, I think, gonna start becoming more and more popular. And I got this brush to go with it. It's a multi-purpose kind of um, denser brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and this and I'm gonna go like that. And I'm gonna kind of, you know, fill on my face to about medium coverage, trying to like make sure my freckles show through and just even out my skin tone and cover up any redness. Definitely not a full coverage look, um, more of a medium coverage. And then after I do that, what I'm gonna go in with is Milk Matte Bronzer. It is, once again, um, a stick. So it looks like this, and it's just a matte bronzer. You can even like, and then like blend it out. But I wanted to get a bronzer like this because Especially after putting cream on, if you just put powder on, then it's just gonna look, you know, like kind of more makeup y again. So I wanted to keep everything super creamy and dewy and glowy. So this is the bronzer, it's milk, then this is the foundation, makeup forever. And then finally, or actually not finally, there's two more things. Two different highlighter options. This is one that I've seen a lot of makeup artists use and a lot of people love. It's the Hosey Moran Argon Enlightenment Illuminizing Wand. I used this on set and everyone was like obsessed with it. It's so pretty. We put it on my nose, on my cheekbones, on my Cupid's bow. It looked so, so, so good. And then this is honestly almost the exact same thing. I haven't tried out like the difference yet in product, but this actually, this looks almost a little more matte but this is the Milk Highlighter, and it looked really, really pretty, and I got it before I knew I was getting that one, but I'm excited to use both. This one looks a little less like shimmery and shiny than this one does, but those are the highlighters I'm gonna use for my creamy look. And then I even got a cream blush. I got Orgasm, which is, you know, the NARS bestseller, another beauty cult product. I got this in the stick form. One of my friends said that her friend like swears by it. It looks super, super pretty. It's not as glittery as the powder one anyway. So like basically my go-to look is gonna be this, this, and probably this, and this. So these are all cream products that I'm gonna use on my face. I think this is such a great thing for back to school because it's not full coverage, it's super natural, it's dewy, like you don't have to use all of the highlighting products, you can do as much or as little as you want. I think this is great for back to school, back to work, um, and just fall in general, because in fall, you know, it's gonna get less humid, less hot, 
so this probably won't be melting off your face either. And if you use a great primer and a great setting spray, all that kind of stuff, I think it'll look really, really good. Let me know if you guys wanna see a tutorial using these products, because I haven't even started using them yet, but I've had stuff used like this before on me, so I know it's gonna look really, really great. Then at Urban Outfitters, I love Urban Outfitters perfumes. I've gone through so many bottles of this one. It's pistachio brulee, it's this little Perfume that you see they have like a whole section of these at Urban Outfitters and pistachio brulee is my favorite It's like one of my signature smells and then I smell this and it's cool because it's like white liquid as you can see How it's like all white. That's actually the liquid. This one is like let de coco and it has a really really fresh kind of um, Florally has a little hint of masculinity in it. I think and like a little bit of coconut I don't know. I think it smells so 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 good and then this is a new brand that I've been seeing at Urban Outfitters and this one's called Tainted Love. It is dark vanilla bean orchard white teen sandalwood and I love vanilla bean and I love sandalwood. Everyone that has smelled this one, this one is just like, it smells like you, yeah. I'm like, ooh, smell this. I just got this new perfume and they're like, yeah, it smells exactly like you. Then from Urban Outfitters, some also great back to school, back to work, kind of reset. I don't know, I just feel like I'm in a really weird place right now because summer has been crazy. It's been super, super like social, party, family, like all that stuff not really kind of there's I've had like no consistency I'm sure you guys have probably been traveling or doing different things all summer and it's kind of time to reset so I also got some books from Urban Outfitters this one is superfoods every day and the reason I really like this one is because it also has an index for the superfoods in it so it has or a glossary a glossary so it has a glossary and explains all the superfoods, their key nutrients and potential health benefits and kind of just puts them all in a little glossary for you, which I think is really great. And then they have so many different recipes from smoothies to pastas to sweet things, all that good stuff. So I think this is really helpful, especially if you're just starting to learn about different types of food and figure out the ones you like because it has the glossary and everything in it. And it's very cute. I've always wanted this book, but I never got it. This one is Eat Pretty, Nutrition for Beauty Inside and Out because this is something I totally believe in. I believe in beauty coming from the inside and out, especially with what you put into your body through via food. And like on the back, it says inside the Eat Pretty Pantry, celery for skin hydration, raspberries for luscious hair, dandelion greens for detox, ginger for anti-aging, red cabbage for collagen boost, artichokes for a slim silhouette, nutmeg for beauty sleep, beets for sun protection, and more. Like that is all stuff that is super important to know about your food and this probably has some great recipes and just like so many different, you know, kind of fun facts and things you can learn about how to treat your body right and feel beautiful from the inside out because I will tell you, I have not been taking care of myself lately and I'm in a very bad place, I feel like. Um, it might not be obvious on the outside or how I project myself, but I don't feel very good with myself right now and I don't feel like my best self and I blame it on myself. I have not been taking care of myself. I'm not gonna be too hard on myself, but I do really wanna put myself back into shape. I also got the Eat Pretty and Live Well guided journal. What I liked about this is, you know, it still has a, like a total like glossary and kind of like all things that you need to know about what not to eat to feel good and everything like that. I do like self care essentials, like deep breathing, self love, physical activity, meditation. And then it also says how I felt after eating, when did you look and feel your best today, takeaways from today. So I think the guided journal will be a good way to help get myself back on track and keep track of how I'm feeling instead of being all over the place. Then the last book that I got is something I actually pre-ordered. Um, since I've been doing a lot of research on recipes and stuff that I can eat, I found this, um, website called Nutrition Stripped and it's this woman that is um, a registered dietitian and nutrients and the founder of Nutrition Stripped. She has a blog and all this stuff. She's a contributor to Cameron Diaz's blog and the body book and she's featured in Vogue and all that stuff and I just loved her aesthetic and I loved all of her recipes and she was coming out with a book so I pre-ordered it on Amazon. I was super excited. It finally came on the mail and so it's a hundred whole food recipes made deliciously simple. My trainer even looked at it this morning and the donut recipe he approved and says I should make. So I'm really excited for that. Yes, yeah, so it has so many recipes. It's super, super pretty. I follow her on Instagram and I follow her blog as well. So I'm really excited to have her cookbook. So like we got some good books right here, people, especially for resetting, for learning, for coming up with recipe ideas that aren't too hard. So these, I will definitely all link these um, and maybe even do an app blog post so you guys can see my reviews on them. Let me know if you wanna do book reviews. I can do book reviews on all these and tell you the highlights and stuff like that. And then lastly, I stopped at Nasty Gal. So if you're going back to school or back to work or whatever, I think 
Back to fall season, it's super important to have a great pair of jeans and a great pair of booties because those are essential. And then you can like throw on whatever sweaters and layer, layer, layer. And so I've been eyeing this style of booty for so long. It kind of has the nice like rider look up the top, if you can see that like detailing. And then it is a little more flimsy right here. It goes a little higher on your ankle. So I think it really is slimming on the ankle because it gets a little tighter. And I love this color. I have so many pairs of black booties. And for fall, this is such a good color. And I think it's going to look so cute even with black pants. So I definitely wanted to get kind of like a back, I keep saying back to school and that's just kind of like the season I'm talking about. Even though I'm not going back to school, it's still like the season of going back to school and going back to work and just going into fall. And so these are a great back to fall season, whatever you want to call it, boot. And I'm really, really excited to wear them. And I think they're very comfortable as well. But I think like this color and leather is a great back to school look if you want to get a flatter version for school. These are Levi's. They are from Nasty Gal. And the girl Nasty Gal explained to me that Levi especially makes these for Nasty Gal. And so you cannot get these anywhere else. They are wedgie fit, high rise, snug through, hip and thigh tapered leg. And they're called the wedgie fit because they're actually supposed to lift up your butt cheeks and make you look like you have a cute tight little butt, which I need because I do not have a big butt at all and I need it to kind of have formation, lady. These I thought were so cute. I got the darker wash, which I think is going to look super cute for fall as well. And then they're also cut on the ends, which is great for when you're wearing booties and stuff like that for cinching them into your pants. It's cute when you can see like the scraggliness at the bottom. And I just think Levi's and vintage jeans are such a staple for fall. And if you're going back to school, I think something like this is really great because you're gonna get so much wear out of it or for like dress down day or whatever you're doing. And they're 80, they were like $88. So it's kind of, you know, on the more expensive side, but not the crazy like $200 jean side. So I think these are definitely a great pair of jeans that I will want to get in a couple other shades eventually. But like even this together, fall. Like, can you not see me drinking a pumpkin spice latte in this? Ooh, who is this pissing off right now? I'm sorry. So yeah, I think I got a good combination of things. I have a whole new face in this bag. I have pretty much a new look right here. And then a new body inside out with all these books. So I'm super excited and very happy to be getting back on track. Let me know if you wanna see book reviews on the app, if you wanna see a makeup tutorial with my new makeup, and if you wanna see more looks for less, or back to school looks, those are already on the app right now. Just let me know if you wanna do more. And any other requests, tweet me. That's what we do around here, we tweet. Because comment sections are scary, we know that. And I live in fear of you. That's really sad, actually. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you want me to do more hauls, because you know I have a shopping problem. And subscribe for more videos so that you know when they're there, because who doesn't wanna do that? Just do it, it takes one second. Click the button, click the button, click the button. Thank you. Now we can all go. Sorry for the hat thing and the hair. It's just, it's a day. Yeah. Bye. Still here. That a new, don't make that a new thing, Lauren.